Hello, I'm Devilish Simmer, and today I want to talk to you about a new development in a game. Now, I have been following a game called Sunken Land for the past couple of days. It only came out for early access on the 26th of August, and I have purchased the game. I have not yet played the game yet. That I will talk a bit more upon later on in this episode. But they have just released a new update for the game already. Now, they have done a couple of updates already um, continuously from the day of its release of Early Access. But this one is a big one. And this one just goes to show that they are listening to feedback and they are listening to the customers and improving on the game. Now the game itself looks absolutely amazing. And if you saw my live stream yesterday, you would have seen a sneak preview of the trailer for the game. From what I can see so far, I just cannot fault the game at all, especially for early access and especially seeing as it's only been out less than a week or just, just about a week. I cannot fault it and the fact that they're already jumping into action and bringing big updates like this one I'm about to show you is if they carry this on then this game is going places so let's just quickly jump over into the my steam account so as we can already see along the top here is all the information that comes out regarding any games that I have installed. So if we just scroll through this, as you can see, from the day of release back here, you've got a Sunken Land hot fix, you've got a Sunken Land co-op connectivity issue fix, important notification, temporary fix on co-op saving. Day after day, they are bringing out a new fix or update or something little to improve or fix the game but as of today they have just released the update 0 0.1.10 which is a big update so if we just jump into it so as we can see they've overhauled the core game encoding structure to address recent saving and loading issues, significantly reduce the saving time and improved loading stability. Then it just goes on to a bit of information that's not important right now regarding it not being compatible or might not be compatible with previous versions and you will lose inventory stocks and bits and pieces and they just talk you through how to resolve that and how to save your inventory but the big thing is going on to this next section. So we've got the bug fixes. So they've greatly optimized the saving and loading speed. They've reduced the chance of saving corruption. They fixed a bug where half of the base would disappear on loading due to corruption as well. They've improved general network connectivity and stability. Resolved issue of excessive, loud, unadjustable water splash sound effects. They fixed the fast growth rate of planters. They've addressed the problem of resolution, always reverting to original settings. The combat knife damage issue has been fixed. Corrected the multiple item description errors. Enemies no longer experience blindness at night. And they've fixed a bug causing the boat speed to depend on frame rate. Now that is a lot of bug fixes to put in there to say that the game's only been going for around about a week. Now on top of that, they brought out some new additions to the game. Now this amazed me. Um, not only are they fixing and improving the game that's only just come out, but they're actually adding stuff to it already. So they've added a new tier two small island, Rubber Duck Island. They've added cotton plant to the radio island. 
They've increased the number of tyre stacks in starting areas. More loot available in initial areas. Guns are now displaying their compatibility ammo type. And initial armour and helmet now crafted with leather instead of cloth. Now, I've not actually played the game yet, but I have been following it a lot online. I have been following a lot of reviews and a lot of complaints regarding the game and criticism. Although it's not got a lot, I will be fair there, the one or two issues that do keep cropping up are all the same. And everybody has the same complaint or the same criticism. Now, in this new edition section, they have addressed a couple of them in a sort of way, but not fully. They've addressed the fact that they're adding more loot in initial areas, which is great. Okay, they're adding more loot. One of the biggest things at the moment is that resources aren't regenerating so once you've depleted all the resources in the game you can no longer continue forgive the pun but you're dead in the sea you just can't collect anything else so you can't craft anything else you can't improve you can't build upon i don't know how far that will take you i don't know how much loot there is out there to gather but it's not indefinite you will run out, you will stop progression. And that's what people have got an issue with at the moment. They want to carry on playing, but they can't. It just dead ends. So they're putting more loot in so you can do more stuff. But it's not quite addressing the issue of regeneration. I do believe there are certain things in game that can regenerate and regrow. Uh, such as anything vegetation wise like berry bushes trees uh, sticks on grounds and stuff like that continue to respawn and regenerate um, animals in the sea the animals the crabs food sources all regenerate so you have got a regeneration there to carry on eating and surviving but we haven't got a regeneration there of materials to build with to expand our bases to expand our weaponry and such as now there has been a bit of a debate going on regarding the enemies some people have been commenting on the fact that enemies are respawning and others have been commenting on the, that they're not respawning um, I'll have to try that out myself when I jump in and play it myself and I'll have to have a look. But the devs have actually commented themselves on the fact that the enemies should respawn. So if they're not, it's probably just a glitch at the moment. Moving on, we've still got more. They've brought out some gameplay improvements as well. So we've now got the snacks now provide more food, water and slight health boost. They've slowed down the hunger and thirst decrease during sleep. The boat storage capacity has been increased by five units. They've reduced stamina cost for jumping and slightly improved the jump height. They've slightly lowered underwater base effect, enhanced iron, copper, seaweed, rubber and cloth availability, increased rubber and cloth generation, improved stamina recovery speed, lowered the searchlight electricity consumption they've reduced penalties for hunger first and energy loss on death and they've expanded the wood stack size to 20 units they've created a clearer crafting wish list and pin icon and the hanging lights now have a smaller collide size so in that update there for a week old early access game that is a lot of improvements and fixes and additions I'm blown away if they keep that up this game is already looking absolutely amazing but it is looking like they are working hard on this and it looks like it is going to be amazing and it's going to be a massive competitor out there for a lot of games because this is like a lot of games merged into one we've got parts of raft in this game we've got parts of rust in this game they're just combining a lot of people's favorite games into one big massive game and talking about one big massive game it is actually 
a full-on map. It is one big massive map with loads of islands and loads of sea space all on one map. Unlike Raft where it degenerates and regenerates as you come near it, this is just one big open world map. You can go wherever you want and it's there. That is amazing. There is so much there to explore. Now quickly jumping back into the gameplay improvements. Again, this is going down the lines of what a lot of people have been talking about regarding some improvements that they would like to see in the game, such as the boat storage increase and the stack size increase on the wood. A lot of people have been commenting on the storage spacing and the stack sizing of objects being so little and they want them larger. Well, they're doing it. They, they've already upped the wood. They've already upped the boat storage. They've also addressed the problem that everyone's had regarding sleeping. Everybody has been commenting on the fact that going to sleep is just not worth it because you go to sleep with a full hunger and thirst bar and you wake up desperately needing food and water. Well, now they've slowed down that hunger and thirst decrease rate. So now you shouldn't be losing all your thirst and hunger when you go to sleep. Throughout this entire update, I have to say they've listened to criticism. They've listened to ideas. They've listened to thoughts. They've listened to suggestions and they are improving on it. So I cannot wait to jump into this game. I really can't. It looks absolutely amazing. I was going to wait to finish off playing my Raft series that I'm currently in before I jumped into this game. I don't know if I can wait until I finished Raft to jump into this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dive into the game this evening and I'm going to release a video on my first reactions and reviews and opinions of jumping into the game for the first time and we will start a main series of gameplay after I've finished Raft. So I will leave you once again on the advertisement trailer of this game in case you didn't see it previously and I will see you later on this evening with my first deep dive reactions of the game. Until then, whatever it is you play, happy gaming. Thank you.